Good morning. I just wanted to touch base with you to tell you what is inside of the packet. If you were able to pick it up yesterday on the 23rd, or if you'd like to pick it up today on the 24th, they will be available between one and four today. This is not required. You do not have to pick this packet up. But if you are looking for a little bit more for your child, it is available. Someone will be at the school between one and four to get it for you. This is the packet. It's really simple. It's gonna have your child's name on it. And then our name, this is Derry. First, there is a letter, just explains a little bit about it. Then there's the calendar. It's just kind of like a little weekly suggested schedule for you to pace out your week. A little bit of helpful information at the bottom. Um, as they, your child does each thing, they can color the smiley face or put a little sticker there. Now, this first paper I'm gonna show you is what it says here for Sunday. And it says, read a book and write about your favorite part. Now, this doesn't have to be a book that they have read. It could be a book that you read to them, but they can use this paper to write their favorite part. They can put the title of the book and then draw a picture of their favorite part and then try to make a sentence. This is gonna be a little bit more critical thinking. They'll probably need your help. They'll need your help with spelling words, remind them to use a capital letter and a period at the end. Um, it's just a way to get their critical thinking skills building. It's just the next level of thinking. Also, I would consider taking the time to color each um, illustration that's on these papers. Not only will it take up time if you need some time taken up, but it will also just reinforce what we would be doing in school. We would be coloring it. We would be coloring it slow and steady, um, trying to make it the, the right colors. Um, hair colors, the color that our friends have. Skin colors, the color of our friends. And then I usually tell them they can make the clothes any color they want to. Then if you look day two, which is Monday right here, Math Monday, count the butterflies in each jar. How many more would it take to make 10? That is this paper right here. And again, write their name, lots of pictures to color, but then also it shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight butterflies in this jar. So eight butterflies plus how many more would equal 10? They might need your help a little bit getting started, but I think this will be a, another critical thinking step for them. And then again, they can also color. Now the next day, Artistic Tuesday, draw a picture of your family. They usually love doing this in class. And I love seeing the um, imagination that they use. A lot of times they won't color their whole family, but they'll color maybe a sister and they're doing something. Kaylani, I cannot wait to see what you're gonna draw for me about your siblings. Um, but they can color and then just draw a picture of their family. And then I would love if they would take a picture of this and send it to me, that would be wonderful. That makes my heart very happy, I miss them so much. Then right here, we have my favorite part of kindergarten. Um, they could, I would cons um, suggest that you just get them talking about kindergarten, maybe some things they miss. It might be helpful for them to think about some of those things and get some of those feelings out and then just assist them in how they could put that onto paper. One, maybe two sentences is all that's needed. And then they can draw a picture right here at the bottom. Now another day on our calendar is Thursday. Practice tying your shoes. We can all use practice in that. Even my friends who already know how to tie shoes, who are a big help in the classroom tying shoes, can still use some practice. They already know how to tie their shoes. They can maybe uh, make a game out of it and see how quickly they can tie their shoes and set, set a stopwatch and see if they could beat their old time. Um, we did an activity something loosely like this um, once in our playroom where everyone had to go all the way to the top of the playroom, slide down and come out and I timed them. And it was cool for us to see who was first place, second place, third place. And um, it's just a really fun activity. It might help break up your week. Right here, we have Fresh Air Friday. Take a walk and hunt for bugs. Use tally marks to show how many you find. So here's our paper about the bugs. And they can, there's some bumblebees, um, bugs with wings, bugs without wings. And then for every bug they find with wings, they can put a little tally mark 
Every Bug Without Wings, a tally mark, see what you have most in your backyard. And then right here, analyze your data. They could write a sentence, I found more bugs with wings than without. I found more bumblebees. I know we've had a lot of bumblebees around my house. Found more bumblebees than ants, things like that. And then of course, coloring it. This does not have to all be done in one day, remember. This is spaced out during the week. On the back, we've got a little bit more work. Some springtime subtraction. This is not something we've covered yet in class, but it is the next thing we will be covering um, as we get closer to our school year. And they will also be retaught this in first grade. So this is just gonna be helpful just getting their brain to think in a different way. Just a warning, parents. It is often very difficult to transition from addition to subtraction. But this is just gonna be just a little tiny entrance into it, get them thinking about it. Um, they will need your help. Most times the students will add, even though they already know that this little line right here means you're taking it away. So if I had 10 fingers and I took away five, because it says 10 minus five, so I'm taking away five, how many do I have left? I would have five. So they would put a five here. Actually, I say put it in the flower. Um, what would be super helpful <clears throat> and it even asks you to draw a picture of the subtraction, is maybe draw 10 um, flowers or 10 dots or 10 balloons, and then cross out five of them. And that's gonna help them see how much they have left. Now we have some more consonant, vowel, consonant words, CVC words, and you might say, well, my child is really good with that. They know how to read consonant, vowel, consonant words, and that is true. Your children, your children do know how to read them. But this is just another way of using them. I'm gonna show you this one first. It's a little bit more simple. Um, the sooner that they can begin spelling these words and the quicker that they can just look at the word and know what it says without really having to sound it out, it's just building their reading skills. So even though everyone in kindergarten right now should be able to easily read consonant, vowel, consonant words, it is still good to practice with them. And like with this right here, bug, they already know it's a bug, have them break down the letters and then have them color the picture. With this one right here, takes it a little bit step further. It says write, but what they're gonna be doing is cutting and pasting the picture onto the word that is that picture. What I would advise is to first color the picture, then cut right here on the broken line, then cut out, cut out each square and before they glue it down, have them lay all of them down. Have them figure out which one, let's see, this one is bed. Have them lay bed here, ham. Ham can go right here. Before they glue anything, have them put everything down in its place so that they know it's in the right place before they glue. Because sometimes we make a mistake, we've glued it down and we have to pull it up. We don't wanna mess up the paper. This one says springtime, read and color. This is again, another step in critical thinking. They're gonna have to read the sentence that tells them what to do with the picture. The rainbow is red, orange, and yellow. So they're gonna color the rainbow those colors. The butterfly is pink. Before you jump right into helping them read these, let them try to figure it out. The, that's a sight word. They just have to remember to look at it. Remember it says the. This word rainbow, this is one of our words that I've showed them in class that it looks like a really big word, but it's really just two small words put together. They look at the beginning, rain, they'll know it's a two vowel word, just mark it like normal. The second one, it's got a special sound we haven't learned yet, O-W, owl, but I think that if they read rain, b -b, they might start to figure out it says rainbow. So anyways, help them when they need help, but let them really work hard to try to figure it out on their own. This whole paper might be overwhelming for most of the class to do it at one time, but if they only do two on a day or a row a day and they don't worry about the rest till another day, that might be the best way to tackle this. We want them to be successful. We don't want them to feel defeated. Right here, I just have two papers. It says, um, I can use different colors to rainbow my name. They can practice writing their name on two different days very creatively, very fancy letters. I am always so hard on them about writing their letters the right way. The stick and the ball, that's the letter A. Sharp corners, perfectly on the lines. This is a way that they can totally get their creative 
um, juices going. Curly letters, rainbow letters. I would love to see how your child creatively writes their name. Many different colors. I think it's going to be fun. Then we have a few papers like this. This one is counting by ones. By tens. And lastly, the thing we just learned before we get out of school. Fives. I'm going to show you with the ones paper what they're going to do. They are, of course, going to color this beautiful picture. And once it's colored, they're going to just cut straight down these broken lines. And then it's going to help them get their numbers in order. Now, counting by ones, that's really simple, of course. But it is a critical thinking step to put them in the right order and to realize maybe two of them are switched. What comes first? What comes before? What comes after? Let's see. There's also a paper that says home bingo. This would be great to put on your refrigerator. Have your child color it first so it's beautiful on the refrigerator. And then it says read four books in your favorite spot at your house. And then once this is done, they can put an X on it or a sticker on it, however they'd want to do it. Maybe just color the box. That way they'll still be able to see the things they've done. Count to 100. This doesn't all get done in one day. This can be done in your week. This could be done in your month. This could be done until we come back to school. And then when they've hit bingo, have something fun to do with your child. Maybe let them pick a movie, let them go someplace outside that we're allowed to go to just to break up the time. But it can just be a, a way to keep your child motivated. I've also included some art projects. This one right here is called Windy Day Kite. Now the instructions are on it. It also tells you what materials are needed. <clears throat> you do not have to follow those instructions exactly. For example, it says to make the tail of the kite, you're supposed to cut a sponge into little rectangles, put a paper clip on it so that it makes squeeze in the middle and triangles and then dip it in paint. We would not probably do that in class. We might even just use crayons to draw the kite. Break this down however you need to and then use them as often as you need to. There is a kite. There is a rainy day duck. Today it is cloudy outside. I'm ready for some sunshine. Helps my spirits come up a little. And then we have a book, All Things Bright and Beautiful, which is a song we had just started learning for our graduation program. So I'm gonna try to see, I haven't found a good video of the song, the version of the song we sing in class. I'm gonna try to find one. If I can't find one, I may just have to sing it. I'm sorry, but um, I'm really gonna find, see if I can find a good version on YouTube. We also have a spring puzzle right here on the back. It shows them how to count, how to cut it, and then they can put it together. And then lastly, there is a turtle in a pond and it is just this little thing right here. It goes on a paper plate, shows you how to do it, how to color it. Um, actually, I think there's one more, yes. We also have a little aquarium, fish tank shadow box. This is something we always have fun doing in class and I'm gonna miss not doing, I'm gonna miss doing these with our students, but um, they don't need to get wasted. And I think that could help break up some of the time. Nothing in this packet is meant to be done in one day or even one week. This is things to be spread out. If you need a little bit more for your child um, to complete after they've completed the packet that was already sent home. Um, I love your families. I miss your families. Thank you for sticking with me through this. If there's anything I could be doing better, for you or for your children, um, please let me know. Um, the only way I know I need to change something is if you tell me so, and I will guard my feelings. I won't, them, won't let them get hurt. I miss your families. I love your children and I hope I get to see you all very soon. Bye.